Right, thank you. That was Customs. They've just completed a baggage search on a young female passenger. Uh, they have some concerns that she may not be here for genuine tourism purposes while she's on a tourist visa. So we're going to invite her back for a quick chat. Peter has a Korean interpreter on the phone. My mother? I know, it's an interpreter. But something's gotten lost in translation. What are you talking about? Are you crazy? Huh? Get out of my way. Can I speak to the interpreter, please? If you have questions, why don't you ask, talk to me instead of the interpreter? I can answer your questions. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers. Bye-bye. OK, we're going to get another interpreter now. That interpreter doesn't want to talk to you. You want to talk to me? Tell me, man to man. All right. Tell me. I can tell you. Zero Lima 44, go ahead, over. The top end. We will be investigating this target, over. Coastwatch has spotted a boat taking cover in the mangroves. Illegal fishermen, drug runners or human traffickers. Customs vessel Arnhem Bay has joined the chase. They're just moving out of the mangroves. They've created a mud trail, so okay. Roger. we should be able to pick them up. With their small boats and their dinghies and, and dugouts, they can scoot up little uh, virtually drains, get up into the mangroves and use it as virtually like a letterbox. As the aircraft flew overhead, they found that uh, they were over in that direction over there and we could see yellow floats in the mangroves, which would indicate that uh, yeah, possibly they've tried to hide some fishing gear up in the mangroves there and then make their way, distance themselves from it and in their attempt to escape us, they've run aground on this, uh, on this reef. Back in Sydney. Why me? Why me? There are many, many Korean people to here me. to travel. Why me? Why me? Why me? Miss Song says she's just here for a one-month well, holiday. OK, OK, don't get upset. I'm just asking you some questions here. But she's made no bookings and has very little money. The customs service tells me that you've brought about 500 Australian dollars with you altogether. So where are you going to stay? Hotel, because hotel is... But you can only sleep in a hotel, say, one, two nights here in Sydney. They're very expensive. So, so and, I... And the money that you have, you can't live... So if I have no room... Yeah. I will... Sleeping street or. See, this, no this is the problem that concerns immigration, okay? And I've heard Sydney is there are a lot of Korean. Mm. So I want to meet Korean, I talk to in Korean. So you don't know anybody else in Sydney? No. I'm worried about this, no. okay? You tell me that you're here for one month as a tourist, huh? and you're just going to look around Sydney, but you don't seem to have enough money to support yourself for a week, much less for a month. Are you coming here to work? Yeah, Zilli 60, this is 61. We have evidence of uh, fresh blood on deck. And down below. And uh, drying shark fin tied to an aft mast over. Down below, further evidence that the Indonesian crew may have been fishing illegally in the area. Search. As you can see, there appears to be shark fin. There's quite a bit of shark fin down here, and uh, amongst their bags of rice, uh, just located some quite large ones. How much shark fin do you reckon's on board, Jack? Probably between five and ten kilos, I suppose. Skipper reckons ten. If convicted, the captain and his crew could be fined up to half a million dollars. Fishing illegally in Australian waters is risky business. Could you indicate to them that they're not to leave? Roger that. We've just got a warning from the ACV that uh, has been rumoured to be anything up to about a four and a half metre croc in this area. Jack, that list is becoming a bit dangerous, mate. You best get up. You have. But you I... have a tourist visa, not a work visa. Yes, I know. Miss Song has $500 to last a month. Peter can't see her making it unless she works illegally. I... Can you get more money from Korea? I'm not rich. I don't want I you don't to know. sleep on the streets. Eat hamburger. Yes. Hot dog. I say cheap hotel. Yeah, $65. That's four or five days. Have you got a credit card? No. We suspect she's come here to work but we've got no idea of the background and it's it's pretty traumatic for her a second interpreter might get some answers if it's possible to have a different one they had a bit of a falling out miss song wants to make a deal you don't have empty room no i have children i have no uh, room i can teach korean your children not in korean. not in one month you can't and i can dish washing tissue clean house i can do yeah, but see, if you're on a tourist visa, you can't do any of that. No, no money, no money, just... No, you can't do it anyway. Sydney Airport.
the Cargo Mail Handling Centre. This is where customs officers screen all priority mail postmarked Sydney. I'm pushing these parcels all day and you just wait for that one parcel that's going to make your day and you know it when you see it on the screen. It's what brings me to work every day, just uh, trying to find those drugs. Jimmy, I think I've got something. Have a look at the cans. Yeah, They're not consistent all the way through. So if it's food, it should cover the whole can. We've got gaps around the side, all that way, and they're not consistent. Like, that's similar to what if you wrap something in a condom or you wrap it in plastic. And in my experience, yeah, that's loaded. Yeah. That's, got, that's got gear in it, for sure. We won't get excited until we get the dogs from yeah. over it. Yep. Find a mate. Utah's a drug expert. If she sits, the package recipient is in trouble. Good dog. Why don't you come? Utah. Find it. Good dog. It's too hard. There's been no reaction from the dogs. All I know is there's uh, an unusual image on the screen. I'm just going to go and talk to my boss. Miss Song is having a moment to cool down while her case is assessed. I've finished uh, my preliminary chat with this lady. Yeah. It's one of those ones we could call 50-50, quite frankly. I actually believe her when she tells me that she's a bit of an artist, a bit of a young, free spirit, and that her plan was really to link up with young Koreans and DOS. She said at first that she'd sleep on the streets if she ran out of money, but then she said she'd go home. It really is... Has she got a credit card? No, she's got no credit card. She's got no access to any further funds. Peter, I think it's not 50-50. Yeah, I think it's 50-50. No. It really... I mean, she'd exhaust the funds in two or three days. I know. Yeah. I know. And then she's destitute. Unless and then she finds what happens? her young Korean friend who gives her a bed and a meal and all of that, but it's a lot of ifs. <gasps> She might advance other reasons that I haven't already heard, so we'll listen to whatever she has to say, and then we'll make a final decision after that. Back in the mailroom, the dodgy package includes two cans of soup. There's no uh, liquid uh, fill in the cans. But Arthur's not buying. It says for 25 gram. They don't feel that heavy, so I think I'm going to weigh it. All right. The weight says 425 grams indicates 390 grams, which doesn't gr agree with the manufacturers, and uh, being UK, they would be spot on with their uh, weights. This one weighs 350 grams, both the same type of uh, cans, so uh, the weights are different. I'd expect uh, the weight to differ two, three grams, four grams, but uh, we're talking over 30 grams. Thank you. Hello, Dave. Yes, Peter. Uh, you're on the speakerphone, so we should be able to uh, do this a little easier. All right, Miss Sun. We have not made a final decision to cancel your visa as yet, and we would seek your reasons why we should not cancel your visa before we make that decision. Miss Song tried shouting her way into the country. She even offered Pete free housekeeping. This is her last shot. I collected every money that I could find, and I spent all of them to buy the airline ticket and the leftover I brought here with me. I didn't know the airfare was so, so expensive and I, um, the exchange rate was just terribly high. I left the um, country for this trip almost like a um, runaway and I don't see any meaning in my life. Could you allow me to travel as long as my money runs out? But the, see, the problem is, Miss Sun, you've only brought enough with you to last you till this weekend. I can leave this country on weekend. Yeah, well, I'm afraid that your ticket is booked for some time in February. Uh, and, and we intend today to consider the question of your cancellation. Miss Song hasn't told Peter the whole story. She hasn't played her final card yet. That's some decent shark fin on board, I know that much. It's worth between four and eight thousand dollars. The boarding team is now searching for proof that it was fished from the area. Oh, the We're just going to make our way into the mangroves now and take a look at those yellow fishing floats. We saw uh, rock tracks uh, going up the beach and into a swamp, so they're in the area. At the moment, I'm very quickly chucking these floats in the boat because I want to spend the least amount of time on the beach as I can. Azul, and it's one, not just because zero, of the crop zero, warning. A return now, over. A second foreign vessel has been spotted in the area. Okay, this is 6 1. Thank you for start. Right, over. Hello. English. English, anyone? We have six persons on board. The vessel's name is uh, Bella Vista. 
but uh, at this stage no fishing product found. The Indonesian captain claims they're here sheltering from bad weather, but Customs is not convinced. Just a very warm, boat, a very warm motor means that they've only just recently motored to this position, or that they've had the, uh, the motor running, um, and then possibly worked out that uh, we were too close to uh, make a break for it. On board the Indonesian fishing boat... The, the weather was no good. They knew it was, there was islands here, so they come here for sure. The captain's story checks out. There's no evidence to suggest they were here fishing illegally. Yeah, go ahead, 6 -0. This is 6-1. I'm just noticing two persons waiting off our previous Type 3. I wonder if you could wind up what you're doing there and go up and see what that's about, over. Yeah, uh, roger that. But the first fishing boat, Sinadabo, is, is in boat, deep trouble. And, and two now beach, two of its crew uh, have jumped ship. The problem here is they've come to a place that's not a proclaimed port, and that's an offence. And there's a number of Commonwealth issues involved there, quarantine and immigration. Are you concerned about the spears, over? I'm not concerned about the spears, but certainly the fact that they've landed, I feel we should probably walk over there and escort them back to their vessel, over. Here, put down. I told you to stay on the boat, not to come ashore, didn't I? What's wrong? Just experiencing some breathing difficulties. Not, a, not asthma or anything, eh? Might be asthma, he's... <gasps> the mail room at Sydney Airport. Now, I think we're onto something. Both cans of soup weigh much less than they should. And it's definitely not soup. There's something inside it. Feel solid, could be hash, could be. Don't know until I open it up. I wonder what it is. Originally I thought they were tablets, could even be that tightly packed. No, it's a powder. Jimmy, bring me number 13. I am now putting it in a test kit that's going to be. Um, tested for cocaine, which is the most common uh, drug that we find these days. If it turns blue, we've got cocaine. Nightfall in the Wessel Islands has brought with it a rising tide and a rising temperature. We had a male person, 45 years old, uh, suffering from difficulty breathing and uh, chest pain. Is, uh, Getting the vessel off the reef has like become a matter of urgency. Is that current fear of war under the present time? We can try, mate, but uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, once probably, you get it loose. It's safe once it's sitting here and back off on the slack water. And we want to aim everything at the ACV. I reckon we might be a goer. Uh, I'm just from the stand now, we're still on the rock. Guys, you got to start pulling. Get some on tension on that rock. The vessel that we just pulled off um, the reef, he's now claimed he's got an engine problem. My concern is that uh, he might be setting us up for a bit of a sucker punch here. That making us think that he hasn't got the capability to move off under his own steam. At this stage, everyone's very tired. I want my guys to get some sleep. And I, I, I'm not unconvinced that this guy might make a move later on tonight. And there it is. Very pure stuff with that colour blue. Uh, now I feel like a winner. Now I've got the green because it's confirmed. Proof positive. The soup cans contain cocaine. Yep, OK. You'll come out this afternoon. Thanks very much. The Australian Federal Police seized the package. Forensic testing later revealed that the cans contained 593 grams of cocaine. That's a street value of around $120,000. They've become very good at it because usually uh, there's indicators on the can that uh, gives it away, but as you can see, it looks quite normal. The parcel will now be repackaged and used as bait to catch the drug trafficker. But I just want to 
Miss Song has saved her saying. best till last. So apart from you just wanting to see Sydney for a couple of days until your money runs out and then go home, do you have any other reason why your visa should not be cancelled? I've got nobody to see. Who have you got to see? You told me you knew nobody. What's that person's name? The person knows me, I know him. But you can't tell me this person's name. Famous Korean man with the um, surname of Eun. But I can't tell you much about him. I just got a feeling that he's here. I think you're lying to me, Miss Sun. Either you were lying to me. Either you were lying to me before when you said you knew nobody in Sydney and you had no, but no contacts here, or you're lying to me now. OK, Miss Sun, I'll be back in 30 seconds. Peter now thinks he's heard it all. I've served the notice of intention to cancel. In her reasons why the visa shouldn't be cancelled, she's come up with a new story. Are you kidding? No. Uh, she now tells us that she's here to marry somebody another Korean gentleman whose name she either doesn't know or doesn't want to tell us. She has a feeling that he's here but doesn't know that he's here and has no contact details that she either has or is willing to disclose. So I said to her, look, the first reason you have insufficient funds to be the tourist for your proposed period of stay, you've now come up with a different reason for coming here and that doesn't accord with the purposes of a tourist visa anyway. Okay. And I think she was making that second story up as she went along, quite yeah. frankly. Yeah. He's very famous, apparently, and linked to the South Korean president. But she can't remember his name. I don't know. I'd, I'd worry for her if she were in Australia on a tourist visa. I'd worry that she'd be prey to unscrupulous people. All the reasons for coming now are just completely gone. So? She might come up with a third story. The medical emergency is over. This is our guys having all the breathing difficulties, smoking the cigarette and shouting instructions. Doing that this morning. Yeah. Miracle, isn't it? It appears to have been a diversion. The crew has now confessed to having long lines out to sea. I joked on the telephone the consulate at the Indonesia this I just told the captain that because he's been fishing here, he will now be going to an Australian port named the port of Nullumboy where he will talk to the uh, Department of Fishes in relation to his uh, fishing venture here. But first a detour to collect one final piece of evidence. Uh, Mount photo, yeah? Ah, the sun. Yeah. The owner, the captain and a crew member were charged with fishing illegally. The captain and the crewman both received good behaviour bonds. The owner, a third-time offender, was jailed for 30 days. After serving his sentence, the owner posted a bond for the release of his vessel and sailed back to Indonesia. In immigration... That you do not have sufficient funds to be able to support yourself here as a tourist, and we intend to cancel today your tourist visa. Because you don't have a visa, I'm now detaining you. You are now in our custody and you are not free to leave. Miss Song is going home to Korea, but there's still something missing, the truth. She's pressed the button. Can you tell me what's really happening? Because we have different stories, the true story. I came here to leave Korea. <laughs> I want to feel freedom. No, <laughs> it is freedom. Sometimes you go home and you have a lot of sleepless nights. Did I make the right decision? You know, what is their family going to say? Are you sending them back to poverty? There's issues like that that you, as a human being, you can't avoid. Yesterday, I was going out to, from my home, exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's fine. What happened? <laughs> Why did you leave home? I can live there. Korea makes me crazy. Korea makes you crazy. Yeah. I think she does want freedom. I think she's a runaway. <laughs>